Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be your art channeled message. I channel messages through art, creativity, I really hope my messages inspire you to see the art within yourself and everything around you, including your own journey, because we all start from a blank canvas or a blank page. There's no rules to my messages, so when you see this or when it finds you, you're meant to, meant to watch it. What I started drawing for you was a weird body and a weird face. Then it formed into a tree with the lines and everything. It's like the tree came to life. The tree is alive. Then I saw that tree from Pocahontas. I think Grandma Willow was its name. Grandma Willow was a spiritual talking tree. Her advice to Pocahontas was essentially to follow your dreams, listen to what is around you, because everything is symbolic. Basically, she told her what I usually say, which is kind of funny. <laughs> this already makes sense, but she's basically saying everything around her has like meaning. A lot of things can assist you and you don't even realize it. And then I heard the quote from the song Pocahontas was singing, where she says, every rock, every tree has a spirit, has a name. A majority of that song centers around respecting nature and the works of it. It's like nature coming alive. Have you ever seen a face or, or like a face on a tree or something freakishly realistic on something that isn't necessarily alive? The tree was talking to Pocahontas. She was getting guidance from an elder. I also heard ancestors. Your ancestors are going to speak to you through elements. And I think it has a lot to do with being confused on your path. I'm also getting listen to your grandparents, listen to your elders because there's a message there for you. A serious one. It's like the divine is giving a message through them. I seriously believe that happens. Hearing, or like, have you ever heard the right advice at the right time? And said individual has absolutely no idea about what you're going through. It's just perfect timing. And then afterwards you feel so much better. I also got clear state of mind. In my tree drawing, aside from there being human characteristics, the top of it has an opening to the head, and I got unlimited knowledge. You will be hearing, or unlimited knowledge will be coming from this elder, this or this ancestor. If it's an ancestor, they could start communicating through nature, colors, sounds, words. You're never truly lost, is what the point is here. And I wasn't going to mention this, but while hiking in October, I came across a face on a tree. So I make, might make that the thumbnail. And I just find it funny how I channeled this in my drawing and I also saw it while I was hiking, so it's like a synchronicity, and I think I'm meant to talk about this. So I think the message here is, become more in tune with nature, look deeply at what is around you, and also listen to your elders, or listen to the advice some people are telling you right now, because I feel like spirit, your ancestors are speaking through them in a way. I also hope you don't mind the lighting. I just thought this was very fitting. I don't like all the lights on sometimes. I'm just weird, but I guess it's prettier. Let's get a card. Did I? Oh, that already flipped over. 
we have vanity. Usually this is my card of Merlin and Merlin was several years old, like 300, 400. You usually only see that in movies. I've heard them mention it in Harry Potter and stuff like that. But that's basically an ancestor, so I feel like you're definitely going to be hearing from an ancestor. And so they're going to make themselves known. That's what I'm seeing with vanity, like not center of attention, I'm all eyes on me, I'm full of myself. I'm seeing that more so as they're going to make themselves known. They're going to get across to you through someone, through even nature. If <laughs> To me, that's really funny because it's like they're so desperate to get through to you because maybe they couldn't before. You just were ignoring signs or you weren't, weren't really like taking the advice from those around you. So definitely listen to what your elders say. I find it funny how the first card to get is an old man. So this could be a grandfather, an ancestor that is a grandfather. I feel like someone's grandfather is very smart. It's always preaching. In my opinion, we need to listen to old people more because sometimes some some of the things they say could get passed off as being senile or yeah, yeah, we we get it, but they're actually dropping knowledge sometimes. So it's like, yes, an elder here is making themselves known. They want you to listen. So listen and be in tune with nature. Respect nature. Go on a walk and walk through the woods. <laughs> Maybe you'll see a tree with a face on it. It's like nature is speaking to you. We have seven of swords. <laughs> I'm getting drop. That's like dropping signs because they can't get through to, through to you. So I'm seeing you're going to see two things or two words. I'm going to do two words of advice. <laughs> like dropping some knowledge and walking away very discreetly two of sorts <laughs> something about two it's because it has to be done this way because you weren't seeing it or you didn't want to see it so now they're you're going to be getting signs through nature through things you wouldn't expect to see Because everything has a spirit, everything has a name, everything has a purpose. Four of Swords. That was weird. I hate when they go underneath like that. And then Nine of Swords. So once again, I was getting, someone is very confused on a path they're going. And Grandma Willow told her to essentially follow her dreams, to listen. So I'm saying like, this is you going on your journey Make sure you're taking things with you. Make sure you hold, I mean like make sure you hold on to or write down what your elders say or what you hear from your ancestors or what you see. I'm also seeing with the four of swords right under the death card, I'm seeing that as a literal like, not a literal death right now, but this is someone that has passed over. So, this is definitely an ancestor. An ancestor assisting you on your path. To me, I'm seeing this too as, like, Pocahontas or, like, someone walking through the woods and they're seeing all kinds of signs, all kinds of things that intrigue them. It's like, Pocahontas was so intrigued about what she was seeing. So I think that's definitely going to be what you're stepping into. And 
And it's all because I think you, that's the only way they think they can get through to you. Then we have Nine of Swords. I feel like you're really hurting right now. You're hurting even more because they try, maybe they tried to get through to you before, but you didn't understand. So it's like you're repeating a cycle or you just need to learn or something. So no wonder. I feel like you really need it right now. I'm gonna get some animal cards because I feel like this is really fitting. <laughs> oh, how about which animals are you gonna see? Which animals are significant? Buffalo. Buffalo is significant. Anything buffalo themed. Crocodile. I'm getting crocodile tears. I don't know. To me, that's really funny because crocodiles look like fearless. So it's like seeing you put on a brave face. You act like you're fearless, but you're really deep down. You're this knight of swords. You need help. You need guidance. And you're about to get it. I'm seeing with the buffalo here too, it's a tower moment. Something's gonna be very shocking or very impressive. And it's, I'm seeing in general, it's just the universe trying to get through to you. And it's like the more you ignore it, the more intense the tower moments become. Also seen with the Merlin card there. <laughs> Magic. Like you, you don't believe what you're seeing. to come in the future or anything else. Ooh. I'm sick of cards falling on the floor. Recovery. You're gonna be recovering. You're not you're not gonna be in the sign of swords anymore. Right here there's an an older man but he's um ice pretty much. The wind is an element so maybe the wind is significant here. Recovery. You're gonna be finding the key the door I'm not gonna feel lost anymore and it's all because of the assistance from this I seriously feel like it's a grandfather or an ancestor an ancestor is gonna be reaching out in some form to assist you on your path so I'm seeing with the eight of cups and you should really hold on to this or write down what you hear and I feel like too someone's gonna be saying the right advice the right things at the right time so don't overlook it. Don't overlook it. Don't try to ignore it. And something significant about two. Two times. Two ancestors. It's like they're assisting you on recovery. The path to... I'm getting the path to recovery. A lot of you could be suffering from addiction in the past. Wow. So yeah, it's like you're going to be recovering. Or you're, you're, you're at least trying to. Okay, Sagittarius. Wait, hold up. I forgot, the other thing I drew was another tree, but it, looked like, it looks like a person with their head down. So it's like, you, right as you're about to give up. Oh my god, the Nine of Swords even has his head down. Right as you're about to give up, even... The Five of Cups has his head down. Something about be putting your head down. And when, you're, when your head's down, you can't even see. So it's like you're so... Caught up in your shame. So you can't even see things getting better, but they will.
Okay, Sagittarius, that's the end of your message. I can't believe I forgot that. That was like such a big piece to this. It's like, don't put your head up, head down. Put your head up. Have pride in yourself. I feel like you need to have pride in yourself and stop worrying. Don't beat yourself up over the past, especially if you've been struggling with addictions, because I don't think these ancestors will be trying to get through to you for no reason. It's like they see your potential and they want to help. And meditating in nature and really appreciating things around you will really help you put your head up, if that makes sense. Like, you'll be you'll be looking at things, you, you wouldn't have any time to put your head down and slouch. So fix your posture, too. Because you're about to step into the path of recovery. Okay, guys. Bye.